New Orleans Saints signed 11 undrafted free agents on to their team throughout the 2023 NFL draft and Grizz wide receiver Malik Flowers is one of them. He's here with me now, Malik. Congratulations on the opportunity. Walk us through the moment that you got the call from the Saints. I was actually at training. So it was like, of course, two days or maybe three days after the draft. So I'm sitting there at training. And at this time, I had only had a mini camp invite to the uh, Chiefs, which I was more than grateful for. So, you know, I'm just sitting there training. And then my agent calls me and he said that the Saints had reached out just to see if I had, you know, uh, signed with any team or got any mini camp invites. So we told them that I already had one before. So initially they were like, how would you feel, you know, coming to ours the following week? You know I me, mean? I'm all up for opportunities and getting a chance. So I said, I'd definitely be up for it. But I guess after some deliberation, 20 minutes later, they called my agent back. He called me and said that they were just going to, you know, just sign me and uh, make it happen like that. So I was I was definitely excited. I called my mom right away because everyone that I was training with had somehow disappeared from the weight room. So I was just in there by myself, but I made sure to call her because I knew she would have been upset if she wasn't the first person I called. What did you say to your mom when, when she picked up the phone? It was actually funny because I had to text her because she was at work. work. And usually doesn't answer the phone, but I was like, got good news. So she called me instantly. I was like, I thought you couldn't answer the phone. She was like, you said good news. So I called and then I told her that they were going to sign me and she's all screaming and her coworkers are big fans of me as well. So they, they like follow my football journey. So it was just amazing. A football journey that is well worth the follow. You were one of the best to go through the Grizzlies program, not only as a wide receiver, but on special teams. You lead the FCS in kickoff returns for touchdowns. You had seven. Yeah. Um, and you not only lead the FCS, but you're also tied with a former Big Sky player, Weber State, Rashid Shahid, now New Orleans Saint. What yeah. is it going to be like? to be a teammate with a guy that you used to, you used to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with in the conference? I think it's definitely going to be something that we've brought, we bring up and talk about because I'm not, uh, I haven't talked to Rashid Shahid as much, but, you know, I'm sure when I get up there, that'll be a topic of the conversation, like, because they put out the edit of us two, like, did we just become best friends and all this? So I'm sure we'll talk about it. It'll be dope getting out there and, you know, sharing the field with him. So it's amazing. You know, he's a good athlete, great athlete, and I'm excited to go out there, you know, make it happen. You brought so much energy to Montana's program. What do you hope to bring to the Saints? A real versatile guy who could do it all, whether it's on the offensive side or the special teams in, which I've been, you know, specializing in for the last couple of years. So you know, you're going to get a competitor, a guy who's ready to come in and make an impact straight away and, you know, willing to learn and, uh, you know, just give my best effort every single day and put uh, put what I can out there for the team. As for Grizz Nation, anything you want to say to them? Definitely want to give a big thank you to, you know, Grizz Nation and everyone who came out to su support us in all our games throughout the years. When I first came in, you guys made it feel like home, even though I was so far away from, you know, Cali at the time. So, I just want to thank you guys for all that you did for us, all the support. You know, it definitely doesn't go unnoticed and definitely going to cherish all those big games and all those moments where the crowd is just, you know, just uh, cheering us on for these big games. So definitely thankful for it.